Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another episode of LMC Stack. So, guys, in today's video, I'll teach you how you can get data into a Lightning Web component using Apex Schema. So, guys, uh, I hope you are already aware about schemas. So, schemas are basically uh, we can refer it as database. So, it basically contains some classes and uh, details of some fields. So, it is basically metadata of the objects and the uh, fields data. Okay. So uh, for today's example, I'm having a new lightning component. My component name is bind using Apex schema. And this is my JavaScript file. Okay. Okay. So guys in my JavaScript file, I'm already having a method here, which is in my Apex. And the method name is get single accounts so using the get single account. We'll be getting the account data and using the schema, we will be displaying the account data on this lightning web component. So I will be displaying a uh, name and phone field. So I'm having two fields here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now let's start the JavaScript part. So guys, uh, first of all, we will just wire the function as usual. So it is get single account and let's take it in account. Okay. Then we will get name first so we are using getter here to get the name using the schema and it will return account dot data okay and if it returns data then we will be using get as object value okay and in as object value we will be having accounts name so we use account dot data and from that data we will extract the name field okay and if the account or data is empty if it did not return any record in that case we will just make the name field empty so this is the else part and in else part i'm just putting an empty value here okay so this was the getter for name and the same getter we'll be having for phone number also. So let me just quickly, you know, copy and paste it. So this is going to be for phone. Okay. And the field name will be phone field here. All right. So our getters are ready. Now let's move to the HTML part. So guys in HTML part, we won't do much. We'll just, you know, we'll just display the name and phone number. I'm not going to prepare any kind of design here. So we'll just display it in the B tag, the bold tag, okay? Let's have name first. Okay, and after that, we can have phone. Okay, let's save it and deploy it to the source arc. Okay, it is deployed successfully. And let me show you the Apex part also guys. So this is my Apex account controller and in this Apex I'm having a function here. The function name is get single account. And the return type is account only because we are getting single account here. Okay. In our previous examples, it was list of accounts, but in this example, it is account only. And we are just returning the name and phone numbers from account order by created it in descending order. So the recent record, which we have created will be on the top. Okay. So we have deployed the component. Okay. But I forgot to open my default talk. So let me just open it. Okay, this is my default. Let's create account now. So the recent account will be on the top. So we'll create a new account and that account will be displayed in that component. I have already placed that component on the page itself. So I just have to create it. And the phone number, here it is. 
Okay, let's save it and go to the component. Here it is, Apex demo. And this is our component, guys. So as you can see, we are having the recent record here. So guys, using the same way, you can just, you know, modify the code, modify the schema and get the result from the database directly. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.